So the patient would come into the adjusting room, they'd scan their barcode, that would put in the number. They check the, they select their name on the screen by touching it. This brings up the patient's travel card. Um, there's a few things. Uh, the, there's a few things on the screen that you should see. Uh, you can see the patient's name here. Uh, you should you should be able to see their account number, sex, date of birth right here. Okay. Um, if their diagnosis codes and procedure codes have already been selected from the previous visit, you would see um, the diagnosis codes here. You'd see the procedure codes over here. On the top right hand side here, you can see the care plan information we had entered previously on one of the other videos on the basic care plan feature video. All right, you can see the number of insurance visits is that they've used 10 out of 30. And then if you remember, we had six free visits. I'm sorry, free uh, six cash visits. So they've used 10 out of 30 insurance visits and 10 out of 36 total visits on their care plan. The start date is 10 17 12 and the end date will be 10 15 12. So those are good numbers to see as the doctor on the screen. Uh, over here on the left hand side you can see this is what's called the appointment ladder or what we call the appointment ladder. It starts back in time and goes up to the present time. So in other words you can see during the week for example this is 8 over 19. That's the week of August 19th, during that week, the patient missed one visit and was scheduled for three. That means they missed about 33% of their visits that week, and that's why it turns pink. Had they missed all three, it would be a darker red, similar red to the bill button up here. All right, so you can see that right here, and as the patient's coming in, you can see red or pink from across the, ta the table. Uh, so you don't have to necessarily be on top of the table. This is the last visit they were in for, which was October 1st. This is the visit they're in for today. And this is the next visit they're scheduled for. And those colors correspond with the color you have configured on your schedule. So if your re-exams, it says adjustment, adjustment, adjustment. If your re-exams are, uh, I don't know, green, you'd see the appointment type. Let's say the next visit was a re-exam, you'd see re-exam and it would be green so you can talk to the patient at the table and say while you're while you're taking care of them you could say I'll see you Friday for your re-exam so that really helps with patient accountability as does the the appointment ladder because the patient's going to know that you're going to catch every time they've missed an appointment in reality they should never have gotten back to the table with a missed visit because the schedule when the patient ch checks in a notification pops up at the uh, front desk that warns the front desk team to actually check the patient uh, no show and reschedule it. Um, so that's the appointment ladder. We showed the patient information, diagnosis and procedure codes, where they go, care plan information. A couple other things you have x-rays over here or in this case we just have images of posture but you can also put x-rays in here. So you can see if I click that or if it's a touch screen you could just touch on this these images and those compare each other. You can touch up to six images at a time. For example, I touched another one here, that's the third one. And this is, um, you can have six at a time and six would stack on top of each other. In addition, this shows the integration with posture screen. There's a posture screen video, you can learn more about that, but it's basically a one-click integration that uploads the images and report right into this system. Same over here, this is the actual posture screen and posture array reports, PDF reports that would automatically be imported into your account, patient account. On the right hand side of the screen, these are sticky notes. All right, these sticky notes, you can type whatever you, whatever you want in here. For example, no rotation, where they work, these do not go into your documentation. These are just, again, similar to having a sticky note on your computer. Nice big font. You can see it from across the table. Um, it helps keep patients accountable. In some cases, if they're supposed to do home exercise, ex exercises, in this case, um, 
they work at Home Depot, so they're going to be they're going to know that you're going to be reminded to ask them about their contact at Home Depot, whatever it might be. So they're just useful um, sticky notes on the side there. In the middle here, I'm, I'm going to show you basically this is the soap note screen. Um, I'm not going to go into the detail; that's going to be a separate video. But you can see quickly it's subjective, objective. As I click through these tabs, ADL assessment plan general notes, and what would be the narrative generated by this. That'll be a separate video. I'll, I'll show you, I'll break it down how you configure your soap note and macros. There's also um, a few tabs up here that are good to know. Your patient information is obviously very good to know. Diagnosis codes, this is where you'd add diagnosis codes. Procedure codes, this is where you choose your procedure, procedure codes and that's how they get added to the top if they're not already there but those should be carried forward from the previous visit so that's the general introduction to the travel card screen for the doctor again we'll go into more detail about how you actually use the documentation piece of this on a daily visit how do you build the note how do you use macros what are they for and what's the difference between XMR which is the note and XDoc which is documents Okay.